Alright, so I watched the first two episodes of the Accolade, the new Star Wars show coming to Disney Plus. And uh, right off the gate, I, I want to say that this has been a show that I've been waiting for for like a long time now. And, and even ever, ever since with, with the marketing and how uh, Star Wars shows operate on Disney Plus. But, but now with, with this show, I, I feel like it, it was amazing. It was incredible. So sort of like a fresh story. And there's so much more to talk about uh, as well. And so I, I'm here to give you my full non-spoiler review of the first two episodes. I talk about what what I thought, how I, I think the, the the rest of the show is going to play out. And this is going to be like you know, a good Star Wars show towards like at the end of the series, and there's so much more. And so if you're new here, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss on any future vids. But now let's talk about the Acolyte. And now going into the show, and if you guys have been keeping up with what Star Wars has been putting on Disney Plus lately with their shows. Like even with like, each show uh, has been a hit or miss, like like with uh, Boba Fett, Obi Wan Kenobi, and e even Ahsoka. But even though I, I found that one to be good, but e even with, with those uh, top tier peak Star Wars shows, like with Andor, The Mandalorian, but e even with the Accolade, it serves as like a fresh take on Star Wars, mainly for, for the entire franchise, and that that's what what I think fans will like, definitely enjoy. It's like a, a fresh new story with in this you know, a universe that we all, all know and love within Star Wars, and even with the show that's taking place like like a decade before The Phantom Menace, and uh, that, that's right, this is it takes place before the prequel trilogy, but before, before the Skywalker saga, and that, uh, that's why I think uh, you, you guys will really, really enjoy going into the, you know, the show, and that, that's what the main point of, of the show is, and, uh, and it, it, this is with, like, a young know, Padawan, like, uh, me with, with her uh, former Jedi Master from when uh, so, so someone has been murdered, and, and uh, they have to uh, solve this mis mis mystery. So, so it's basically like a murder mystery within Star Wars, and that, that's the things that I really like to, to see. And, like, you, you, you even though from, from the first two episodes I, I watched, but even from the, the show opens up, it feels like Star Wars. It has all that classic action, especially with, with, with like I, I don't know, like the, the the first five to ten minutes of the show, and that that's the part that I really got a smile on my face. And even with the story and with, with the drama that that served within like each layer of the show, it, it is completely it explored. It really takes time to really develop these characters and even with, with some standout like uh, characters that I, I really want to point out here is uh, you got uh, uh, Lee Jung Jae who we all know from Squid Game who, who, who plays this uh, Jedi Master and with a uh, Daphne King who we all know from Logan and, and, and like, and, like I, I, I'm pretty sure like she, she did so good as well and, and you with uh, Amanda Steinberg and I, I really enjoyed her performance and, and like even for what she brings to the show especially for how you know the show almost up for, for how it, it even starts her character is it enters perfectly in, in that way that i, I think everyone will uh, d d definitely enjoy how she is debuted in the show and on screen and, and like for how it is put together it is really really cool and even after e each episode it, it'll keep you like guessing for what's next week and like as i mentioned it is a murder mystery because even after the second episode i was like oh i i, I want more of this and like, that, that this is like a what like a star wars really needs now these days it's instead of making like random con con connections to the skywalker saga timeline but being its own contained story being its own thing and that, that's what i m m mostly enjoy with, with, within star wars and that's what i really enjoyed about the, about the show and, and even with the action scenes that that goes down in, in, in this episode it, it is a truly a, a, amazing it is like like well choreographed and like I mean, I'm not, I'm not just like saying that because, but you know, it, it is well done with it, within the show. You get the real experience, especially with, with all the classic lightsaber action, and like uh, that's what almost happens during like all throughout the show. You get that classic Star Wars action that that, that we're all used to, to seeing because that is what is meant to be in Star Wars. And even with the cool locations. That, that, that the show visits it, it is truly remarkable and even with the fam familiar ones that i think the fan base will d d definitely notice but even though uh, that, that like 
it is own contained thing. It's like a, these are locate locations that, that like a, I mean I have never seen within the, the universe. But but even though I I, I just really, really enjoy like all, all, all the drama that it, it serves even with the development and, and chemistry between the each character it is fully developed on screen. I I, I love every character's chemistry and and, and how they connect with, with each other. And even for how it you know uh, progresses, it it, it it just really like moves forward. It does not waste any time, and that's stuff that I, I really adored. And like it's just like I mean it is a great show overall. But even out of the first two episodes, I I've seen I I really wanted to see more. But, but again, this is just the beginning of what the show has to offer, and it is basically going to have you keep guessing until the very end. Up for how the the show is structured and and, and how it's set up, and like and like uh, basically like and, I mean I, I, I don't want, want to give it anything away, but even within episode one, it, it sets up everything that you you need to know about the show. But, but but then uh, once it gets to episode two, it, it really like uh, draws you into to the actual plot, the the actual story, and to, to the actual mystery that that the show has. And like I mean, that's the parts that I just really in, enjoyed. And, and like man, like, I mean, even after the, the end of, of episode two, but I mean, there's like a much more to come within the show that I and I think uh, you, you guys will uh, definitely enjoy like hearing from me. I mean, I mean, I I, I don't know where. I I would rank this show, but even though know, I, I cannot wait to see for what's to come for the, the, the rest of the show, I mean, maybe it'll be higher on my list, but we'll have to wait and see and find out as well. But I just like, I, I just really, really enjoy, enjoy what the show has offered, but at the end of the day, I just want it to be like a good Star Wars show that's trying to serve a good story, that its own self-contained thing will try to force like any connections or go or on any side quests or, or fill in like you know random plot points i just want it to be its own thing and even with the show it does just that and so for my final thoughts to kind of wrap this all up is i really enjoyed the show i am enjoying it so far and, and the fact that i've always seen the first two and so i can't wait to see for what's the story for the rest of the show and i hope uh, you guys enjoy it as well it comes out tonight at 9 p.m eastern standard time as i'm recording this and I hope you guys in, enjoy it and then come tell me what, what you thought about it. And th this show is up to a great start so far with, with the story and the, the plot and with the characters and how they're developed. And I think it's off to like a great start for like a, a Star Wars show so far. But again, as I mentioned, at, at the end of the day, I, I just want this to be a good a Star Wars show after all. But uh, hopefully it turns out good uh, towards the end and, and i think that there's like so, so much more that awaits for the show as well and so yeah i, I can't wait to, to check out the rest but i i, I highly recommend, recommend star wars uh, the accolade and i think it, it's a good star wars show as well and so uh, that's gonna do it for this video which is let me know in, in the comments below how how excited are you for the accolade I mean, like, are you excited for the show? Are, are, are you not? Let, let me know in, in, in the comments. Don't, don't forget to like the video and, and subscribe and turn to turn on notifications for future videos. And also follow all my social media which are linked down below. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.